This is my chameleon strider. He is a panther chameleon. I also have his son, Cyrus. You gonna do Inktober for me? I'm gonna let go, you have to do it. There you go, go do Inktober. Go do the chameleon constellation for me, please. <laughs> ah, over it in two seconds. Good try, bud. You did a very good job trying. Thank you. Be happy to go over my chameleons more later, but let's get to the artwork. Hey everyone. Thanks so much for stopping by again for my Inktober series. Today is, as you can probably tell from the beginning of this video, a very special day for me. I'm working on the chameleon constellation in my Galaxy Girls series. There's a little more chameleon cuteness at the end of this video, so be sure to watch. How are you all doing? I am even more tired than yesterday. I hope I don't just keep getting more and more tired because I don't know how I'll keep up with this. I think I'm going to have to get some sleep and maybe do some quicker pieces in between, hopefully. <laughs> I must say I am proud of myself for getting this far, however, I am definitely feeling it and if I want to keep up with all 31 days, I think I'm going to have to take some smaller pieces in between. Today was an especially long day. I started this piece out at home with my nice well-lit area and had to drive two hours to teach um, my artist's entrepreneur class, which I talked about yesterday a bit, in Laguna Beach. I worked out the design on this one on Procreate to begin with because I had no idea what I wanted to do. So that was a little easier to kind of map out all the, the tree branches you'll see in a second. You'll notice as I'm doing the ink work here that the black isn't all one shade, so to speak. It kind of catches different brush strokes and lighting. And it's a little annoying. Um, I will have to go back over later before I sell the original and make sure that it's all one solid black. But for now, I just took it into Photoshop and evened out the tones so it looks more like a what I wanted it to be. I find I have that issue sometimes painting large areas with black ink, especially if it's pure black and not an ink wash. There's nothing wrong with it. It just sometimes if you want that flat illustration look, you have to adjust the contrast on your image afterwards digitally. So here I am at school. Luckily the lighting wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I'm using my Kuretake brush pen here and a few of my liners that I show in my supply video. I'm actually surprised. This Inktober I'm using my brush pen a lot less than I thought I would. I've kind of fallen in love with just using different brushes with straight out of the bottle of ink. The brush pens are great, but I noticed that the ink I have in them is a little bit shinier than the ink I'm using from the bottle, so it stands out a bit. I don't want to put my bottle ink that I'm using right here, the deleter number four, into my brush pen because I believe I heard it might gum up my pen. I could be wrong. I'll have to check again on um, the website I got it from. If any of you have used it, I would love to know if you've used it with a brush pen before. I had a, a lot of fun with her face. I just really, like I said before, I'm really enjoying that pink in the gray look that these girls are having. I think I'm going to start doing some darker skinned women probably starting tomorrow. So I wonder how it's going to look with darker skin versus fair skin. I know this is a little different than the pieces I have been doing as I'm not doing a whole lot of the ink wash techniques. I've always wanted to try some of this style of illustration where it's just very solid black and white. I really enjoyed doing that. It was a bit more of a design challenge. If you've followed my work for a while, you probably know that not only do I add my chameleons in my pieces quite a bit, but I also love to work with antlers. And these antlers I 
based off of manzanita branches. So they're kind of like a mixture between branches and antlers. Manzanita is this really cool type of wood that grows into little spindly branches and chameleons love to climb on it. I have a lot for my chameleons. So it was very fitting to add them into this piece. Panther chameleons are pretty weird to draw. I messed up his tongue a bit, but eh, it's okay. I thought it would be cute to have him trying to catch a shooting star. <laughs> I've had my panther chameleons since art school, so Strider is now five years old, which is actually pretty old for chameleons. I had him and his little chameleon wife, Arwen, they had 78 babies, and Cyrus was the only one that I kept. Like I said earlier, I'd love to talk about them more if you're interested. They are great artist pets and I would always take them to art school with me and have them sit on my easels. The white ink I'm using again is that Icy Comic White Ink. I list it below. I couldn't find a direct link, unfortunately, because the only place I could get it was Jet Pens. And thank you so much. Some of you noticed that some of my links were broken. Unfortunately, I can't get longer links to work. I'm not sure why. I'm trying to figure it out. So that's why most of my supplies are listed under Amazon. I'm also trying out the affiliate program. So anything you purchase through those links, a little percentage goes to me at no extra cost to you totally up to you if you want some new art supplies. It's only day five and posting daily to YouTube has been challenging, but it's been so worth it. And I just want to thank you all for joining me in this beginning of my YouTube career. It's been nothing but encouragement. I was so worried to start. I see, you know, negative comments on YouTube all the time. So I was always worried like, oh no, people are going to judge my artwork and my face but everybody has been so kind and I'm already thinking of all the videos I want to do after Inktober is over. So definitely keep leaving suggestions down below about what kind of videos you'd want to see. Are there any art challenges you'd like to see? Technique videos, art stories from art school, etc. I love reading your feedback. Thank you so much. I hope you liked this piece, it's definitely a personal one for me. And again, all of these are going to be available in the Kickstarter, which I will announce later in the month. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope your Inktobers are going well, and I will see you tomorrow for day six, Gemini. Here's the final piece after I took it into Procreate and just adjusted the levels so the blacks are pure black, and I think it's really cute. I'm happy with it. Where are you going? Where are you gonna go? Are you gonna be my reference? Can you be my art reference, please? Okay, go pose for me. Thank you. Yeah, but you can do it. Yeah. Was that good? <laughs>